Hello and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Tay Chichu, and I don't know what I'm doing. I will never know what I'm doing, and that's what I'm using as an intro. Hello everyone. Today, I want to talk about more plushes. Shocker, I know. Um, today we are going to be talking about more vintage um, Pokemon plushes that I've accumulated within the last couple of, I wouldn't say month or so. A majority of these I have gotten through eBay, and I enjoy eBay a lot. And so I continue to try and get vintage Pokemon plushes through eBay. Right now I'm looking more at like Togepi and um, Togepi and probably Blastoise. I really love the vintage ones. I don't know why, but yeah, I'm going to talk about those today. And uh, yeah, so I want to start off with the biggest one that I've gotten. You probably guys probably saw it in my vlog. I got a big old Charmander. Now, he's stuffed with, like, if you can hear it, he's kind of stuffed with, um, not a soft fabric. At some point, I kind of want to rip him open, fill him up with some new fabric, and make him all soft again, but, you know, I think that he's really good. Um, he doesn't smell weird. I know that's, that's why I went like that. Um, his tail's a little bit broken from, because it's such a hard, like, styrofoamy type innards. He's really big, though. Like, look at him the size of my head. But I would love to get him soft so that he can be, you know, um, more snuggly. Because the fabric that he is, it's like, it's a very old vintage soft fabric. So, yeah. Look at his little claws and his mouth. I want to be able to open his mouth more. As you can see, his eyes are huge. His little toesies. Very cute plush overall. I think that um, me and my grandmother should be able to unstuff him and then restuff him. But yeah, he's big, he's cute, and he's ready to hit the town. So yeah, there he is. He's adorable. We're gonna put you right there. I just keep stacking plushes on top of my plush pile until they inevitably uh, crush me. Anyway, um, the next one I got was this little Pikachu. Look at him. I know I already did a video about vintage Pikachus, but you could never have enough vintage Pikachus. Um, he's very soft. I loved his little smile. His name is Bread. Um, don't ask me why, but his name is Bread. And so he's he was one of the vintage Pikachus that were, if you pull this string, he vibrates. Unfortunately, he does not uh, do that very well. So he's just kind of, I wrapped it around his tail so I wouldn't be tempted. I don't want to break him, but he's very soft. Again, I got this guy from eBay as well. It's very, very tough to find good plushes um, on eBay for a good price. So I'm always on the lookout for that. I haven't found any new ones besides this little guy, but I love my little loaf of bread baby. He, he could go in your purse. He's travel size and he's just all around level. Nexties, all of these next ones are reversible. And are they official? I don't know. They don't quite have official tags on them. But, and there's also a story to go along with these Pokemon plushes. So get ready for this ride. So with these Pokemon plushes, they are, they look vintage, but they could also be bootleg. I don't really know. Um, I'm pretty sure that they're not bootleg, that they're just old. They do have the Tomy sticker on them for the Made in China. And I know Tomy is incorporated with Pokemon, I believe. So, yeah. So, I... Let me preface this with... I made an order. These were about... I want to say about $10 each, about. And so, I wanted a Blastoise. So, I got this tiny little Blastoise. Look at him. He's, um... You know, he looks, he looks cute. He looks like an old vintage one. And then if you unzip the zipper in the back, he goes into a... Master Ball, where these are kind of falling off, but you know, vintage, cool, sick, Master Ball. And it's all kind of, I, I need fabric glue to kind of like save these guys a little bit. But yeah, so in my original order, I had this little Blastoise, and I had, I got a sit, I thought that this guy was so freaking cute. I glued down his eye with nail glue, so it might look like it's coming off, but I I, I was afraid that it was going to come off, so I nailed it down with nail glue. I think that Sand Shrew is adorable, especially in this plush. And he also can turn into a fancy little Master Ball. I, I'll do all these guys. Some of them turn into Pokeballs. But um, I thought that this guy was too much to pass up. And again, adorable. Cute. I love him. Next, we got... Um, in the original order, okay, so let me, let me say, there were two Bulbasaurs. One of them was a Master Ball, the other one was a Pokeball. I specifically wanted the Pokeball one. I put that in my order, whatever. 
So, what happens? Also, very, very cute. I love him. But I, but this wasn't the one that I ordered. This one is the Master Ball one, as you can see. With this coming off, mind you. And I was like, okay, that's, that's a little bit weird. Uh, uh, uh. Also, in my original order, I put Iggly Buff. There was an Iggly Buff one. And if you guys came ever came to my first stream on YouTube, or my first Nuzlocke on YouTube, I did a Nuzlocke. Um, and one of the starters I got was Iggly Buff. I named it Steakhouse. So Iggly Buff has a very warm spot for me. So, I was a little bit concerned when this buddy came in. I, okay, first of all, this is a Clefairy. An uncurled Clefairy. So if you haven't seen anything cursed like this, then I suggest you look away. Because you're cursed forever now because of this little menace. Look at this little baby. It's adorable. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Clefairy is adorable. And the fact that it's uncurled is really, really funny. But, but. It's not an Iggly Buff. This is not what I ordered. It turns into a Pokeball. Whatever. So I messaged the seller and I said, Hey, two of the things in my order are wrong. I would like to keep the Clefairy and the Bulbasaur. But, and I will pay you for these, I will pay you for the previous Clefairy and um, Bulbasaur. But can I have my actual order? And they were like, Oh yeah, so sorry. We'll put it in a little bundle package for you. And I went, Oh, that's fantastic. And, um, so, I got Iggly Buff. Here's my little baby steakhouse. My portable steakhouse, if you will, because if I ever wanted to bring him in my purse, I could. Turns, turns right into a, turns right into a Pokeball. Great, fantastic. I got my Iggly Buff, and now I have an Iggly Buff and an Uncurled Clefairy. I love it. I love the curse. I love, I love all of it. I love the funkiness of it. And you know what? People make mistakes. That's fine. That's fine. Explain to me. Why? I got the same exact goddamn Bulbasaur. I didn't even message a seller back. I didn't leave uh, I didn't leave a bad review. I did nothing. Another Master Ball. Look, 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 look. Master Ball. Hello? Why did I get two Master Ball Bulbasaurs when you had a Pokeball one and you said you had a... How many of these mother hackers do you have? But... Long story short, I didn't message a seller because at that point I had too much, too much anxiety in order to message back said seller. The difference between this Bulbasaur and the Pokeball Bulbasaur was the legs. And I don't mind these legs. I don't. But when I order something, you know, I expect to get the order. But at this point, anxiety had consumed my body. There was no way that I was going to message back the seller and say, hey, you messed up my order again and wait another two weeks and then pay him for another Bulbasaur because now I've fallen in love with this Bulbasaur too and now I have two Bulbasaurs. Explain to me why I always get stuck with two Bulbasaurs. Remember the, remember the Toriba ones, the unboxing I did a little while ago? Two Bulbasaurs. My anxiety is causing me to have double the Bulbasaurs I really need. But without, with that being said, I now have two very cute Bulbasaurs that are Master Balls. Whatever, sure, I don't care. I have an uncurled Clefairy that's cursed, cool. I have my little steakhouse. I have my uh, Blastoise who looks very cute and adorable. And then I have a little Sand True. So long story short, don't let um, eBay sellers cause you anxiety and not ha let you have the right order because then you'll end up like me with too many Bulbasaurs. I. Those are all the vintage plushes I have for you today. Again, I want more. I definitely want more of the reversible ones. I want a, um, I want Wigglytuff and I really want Gengar because those are some of my staple Pokemon now. Wigglytuff is now one of my staple Pokemon. I'm deeming it this way. I have many, I have many a staple Pokemon. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that this video is very chaotic and turned me into being irritated that I can't message people because I get too anxious and I'm afraid they're going to yell at me even though I'm in the right. So yeah, make sure uh, to like and subscribe. Comment down below which one was your favorite one below. Have you ever had a cool vintage uh, plush like these? Did you have these when you were a kid? I know I have more. I have like a polywag and... Um, uh, I actually have a Tokepi one. Um, but yeah, make sure to comment down below what your favorite vintage plush is and if you still own some. 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching again, and I am sorry. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye.